Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another lesson on sequences and series. Today we're going to talk about how to use the idea of series to convert recurring decimals to fractions. So what are we talking about here? Well, let's write a fraction. Let's write 9 over 11. And if you type this fraction into the calculator, 9 divided by 11, you will get 0 0.818181 and so on. 0 0.81 recurring. Now the goal of today is to be able to convert from 0 0.818181. If I gave this to you as a question and I said, how do you convert this into a fraction? You can tell me that it is equal to 9 over 11. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing we want to do is we want to write the recurring decimal as a geometric series. So what is geometric series? Well, if you remember, a geometric sequence was when we had um, a list of numbers where to get to one number from the previous number, we multiply by the same factor. So 10 times 0 0.5 is 5 times 0 0.5 again, which will be 2.5 and so on. And that's a geometric sequence. That's a geometric sequence, but a geometric series is when we add up all the numbers in a geometric sequence. So if you think of this recurring decimal here, 0 0.818181, we can write that as 0 0.81 plus 0 0.0081 plus 0 0.000081. So basically, every time the pattern reoccurs, we break it down where in between all the different sections where the pattern reoccurs, and we just fill up the numbers before it with zeros and then we add them all together. So 0 0.81 refers to this section, 0 0.0081 refers to the middle section, and 0 0.00081 refers to this section. We add it all together. Now we can see here these numbers 0 0.81, 0 0.0081, 0 0.000081 they form a geometric sequence where to get to one number from the previous number you multiply by 1 over 100 so let me rub this little bit out so we can write the thing in you multiply by 1 over 100 and you keep doing that to, the, to get to the next number. So this is a geometric series. Okay, this decimal number itself is a geometric series where A is equal to 0 0.81 which is the first term and the ratio R is equal to 1 over 100. So therefore to convert this um, series into a fraction, all you have to do is use the equation um, use the equation for sum to infinity for geometric series and that is sum to infinity equals a divided by 1 minus r. So if you forgot what or where this equation came from, have a look at our previous tutorial. So now we're going to substitute 0 0.81 where A is 
and we'll substitute 1 over 100 where R is. So that gives you 0 0.81 over 1 over 100 is 0 0.01 as you probably already know right cuz 1 over 100 is 1% which is 0 0.01 so 1 minus 0 0.01 so that gives you um, 0 0.81 over um, 0 0.99 and if you multiply both the top and the bottom of the fraction by 100 which you are allowed to do with fractions it becomes 81 over 99 81 over 99 now we are nearly done we just have to divide both the top and the bottom by 9 alternatively you can just type this into the calculator using the fraction key um, but anyway, I'll, we'll just do it the simpler way. So 81 divided by 9 is not, uh, 9. And 99 divided by 9 is 11. So there you go. That's how you convert a recurring decimal to a fraction by using um, sum to infinity for geometric series. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.